most part, I eat relatively hev heavily, <laughs> heavily, heavily. <laughs> and welcome back to Morg's Menu. So today I wanted to share with you some more meal prep recipes to get us started with the new year, but also I wanted to share kind of what my new year's resolutions are going to be. For the most part, I eat relatively hev heavily, <laughs> heavily, but healthy. Um, but I wanted this year to kind of kickstart and get back on track with going to the gym. The gym is something that I used to, especially like in college. I was really into it. I went all the time. It was like my de-stressor. I loved it. And then I just kind of got out of the habit a couple, like basically like a year out of college. I just didn't really find like a gym I love, blah, 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 and just kind of just continually made excuses and then got out of habit of going to the gym. From that, obviously, as most people do when they graduate college, I've gained a little bit of weight and different stuff. So my new year's resolution this year is just to get back and active into the gym and hopefully that will bring along some weight loss as well. I'm definitely going to be more like conscious about counting my calories and fat and all that kind of stuff just to make sure I'm staying within this particular goal to hopefully kind of, you know, just lose a little weight and get more comfortable and so that my clothes are more comfortable and all that kind of good stuff. The reason I wanted to share that with you is just so that you know that for if you notice any slight changes in any of the food that I'm making and also to try and keep myself as accountable as possible, I'm going to try and do a video as far as like my fitness journey. So hopefully if I do lose the weight of my goal, then I can share that video with you in a couple of months and kind of share with you what I found worked and what didn't because I've gone through kind of like a weight loss change I guess. Um, when I was in college, my sophomore year, my new year's resolution that year was to lose some weight and I did it and I got really in shape but obviously I, when I, I was 20 years old then and I'm 25 now and I was pretty active. I was walking around campus all the time doing a lot more physical activity stuff where now I work in an office eight hours a day and I come home and I just don't do as much like walking around and that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be a little bit different to try and see what works and what doesn't as far as how I can lose weight. So I wanted to not only make a video so that it can hopefully help someone who maybe is going through similar kind of things like me, but also to keep myself accountable. Um, so basically I'm just gonna do like weekly check-ins and weigh myself and take different pictures and just kind of see where I'm seeing changes or if I'm not, um, kind of test out different things. So just wanted to share that with you since it is the beginning of January now, just wanted to share with you my New Year's resolution. So if you have anything similar or um, whatever your New Year's resolution is, resolution, revolution is, share those with me down below. I think it's really cool to see everyone's goals, especially when you hit not only a new year, but a new decade for us. You know, everyone is always new year, new me, but some of those resolutions can really be good and if you really stick to them. And I really find that when I write them down or I tell other people about them, it really helps me. So leave those in the comments down below. Let me know what you wanna work on and um, hopefully we can help keep each other accountable. So nonetheless, this is a really long intro, but with trying to lose weight and be healthier and all that good stuff, obviously that comes for me with meal prep to help me keep on track. So I wanted to share with you two really easy meal prep recipes. One of them is done in the crock pot and literally just throw everything in and it's good to go. And the other one has no cooking involved. You just have to prepare it and assemble everything. So super easy meal preps to get you on track for 2020. And if you're interested in seeing how both of those come out, Keep watching. To start us off, we'll do our slow cooker garlic parmesan chicken. So for this, you need some really simple ingredients. So we'll need some broccoli or whatever vegetable you want to include, butter, some parmesan cheese, chicken thighs or chicken breast, whichever you prefer, some spices, parsley, thyme, salt, pepper, and minced garlic, a couple of red potatoes, avocado oil, and some cooking spray. So we're gonna start by adding a big frying pan to our stove at medium heat. And for this, we're just going to add a little avocado or olive oil into the pan and then brown the chicken on each side for about three minutes per side. You're not fully the cooking the chicken, but you just wanna get the cooking process started and brown them on each side just to get a nice kind of brown sear on both sides of the chicken. You also want to add a little salt and pepper to the chicken as you cook it.
While your chicken's cooking, go ahead and prep up your veggies. So we'll start by just spraying our crock pot with some cooking spray so that we can add the veggies directly in when we're done chopping them. So for the potatoes, you're just gonna cut them into the little small pieces. You wanna make sure they're pretty small so that it doesn't take too long to cook in the crock pot. Um, but again, as, as I've mentioned before, as long as they're pretty consistent evenly in size um, and pretty small, you'll be good to go. That way they'll all cook around the same time length. And then same thing for the broccoli, you just wanna cut it into small bite-sized pieces. I used two small broccoli crowns for this um, and I just cut them about the same size of the, as the potatoes. The broccoli is not going to take as long to cook so you can make it a little bit bigger if you'd like. If you don't like broccoli you could use green beans or you could just do the potatoes and chicken and add your vegetable on the side. Now you just want to top the vegetables with some avocado oil and then your remaining spices. So we're going to do about five cloves of garlic which is very garlicky so if you don't like garlic as much you could tone that down a bit but it does give it a really nice flavor. And then you want to add some dried thyme and dried parsley and top it with your shredded parmesan. Now you just want to mix everything so that all of the spices and the cheese are kind of covering the potatoes and broccoli as evenly as you can. Once you've stirred, you want to top this with a couple tablespoons of butter. Just cut it into thin slices and top it so that when it melts down, it'll melt down into the vegetables very nicely. And then you want to top everything with your chicken breasts that have been seared. Now all you have to do is put your crock pot on and wait for it to cook. So you can either do four hours on high or eight hours on low, depending on what you have time for. I did four hours on high and it turned out great. So here's what it'll look like when it's done. I did stir a couple times throughout just to make sure everything was cooking nice and evenly, but you can see here everything is nice and cooked. The chicken and the broccoli was starting to fall apart. Um, it really created a great texture. So from here, you just wanna stir, check the potatoes and make sure that they're fully cooked through. And then you just need to divvy this out into your containers. I originally was trying to make the chicken come out really even in here, but because it was falling apart as I was trying to pull it out of the crock pot because of how kind of moist and everything it got, I ended up just putting all the chicken back in and shredding it so that it almost became one big dish rather than chicken with potatoes and broccoli. And then the last step is just to top it with a little bit more Parmesan cheese. You can skip this step if you want, but it just adds a nice little flavor of cheese on the top. And here is the final product. This turned out really good, lots of flavor, really savory, nice meal. It's about 500 calories as prepared, so that was pretty low calorie for a really savory, yummy meal. Um, you could, of course, if you needed to be lower, use chicken breast if you prefer or a different type of meat. And like I said, leave the broccoli out if you don't like it. Um, this is a really easy meal to kind of alter to your specific preferences. And then next up we have our Italian pinwheels with celery and pistachios. So this is a really easy one because you don't need to do any cooking. You'll just need some cream cheese, banana peppers, roasted red peppers, some oregano and garlic powder, some wraps, provolone cheese, salami, pepperoni, and ham. And then for our sides, we are gonna do some celery with a little cream cheese on top of it and some pistachios. So really the only prep for this is just to take four ounces of cream cheese and mix it in with your spices. You wanna make sure you do let the cream cheese sit out for a little while um, so that it gets room temperature. That'll be a lot easier for you to stir it in with the spices. Once you've got your mixture all pulled together, now all I have to do is assemble the wraps. So you're just gonna take about a quarter of the cream cheese mixture and spread it kind of evenly 
down the middle of your wrap. And then you're gonna add in the ham, salami, provolone cheese, roasted red peppers, and banana peppers. I put exactly what I put in each of these depending on the size of the types of meats that I had and my kind of personal preference, but you can of course alter this to whatever fits your needs the most. Once you've filled your wrap, all you have to do is kind of roll it together into a nice little wrap and then cut it into little thin slices so that it has that pinwheel kind of appearance. Now you of course can skip this step if you want to just leave it in the wrap form, but these are kind of fun to eat and just kind of switch it up from just a normal wrap that I would eat. You could also use these as like an appetizer if you wanted to, um, to put out something a little bit healthier um, if you're hosting a party or some sort of holiday event. Now you just want to repeat all of those steps for the remaining wraps. For the ingredients that I used, it made four wraps, so four servings. I just did one wrap per serving of meal prep. Once you're done with the wraps, you can go ahead and prep up the celery. So we really like to add just a little bit of cream cheese or peanut butter when whenever we do celery as a snack, just gives it a little more flavor. So all you have to do is kind of wash up the celery, cut it up into small bite-sized pieces. And then um, specifically for this one, since we had only used half of the cream cheese container for the wraps, went ahead and just used a little bit more of it on the pieces of celery here. Really, it's a personal preference on how much you put on there. We put just a kind of tiny little bit, like I said, just to give it a little bit more flavor. We've also done it where we have a completely separate container and just put the cream cheese kind of on the side and keep the celery plain. So if you wanted to do it that way, you can. And then lastly, we're just gonna divvy out the pistachios into our little containers. So I basically just measured it out just to make sure I was kind of hitting the serving size of the pistachios um, and then add them to each. Now I will say in eating this the pistachios, I ended up eating as a snack later in the afternoon because it was so filling, but it is included in the calorie count. So it's about 575 calories, including everything here. So of course, if you wanted to decrease that, you just take away the pistachios, take away the cream cheese and the celery, or just make any other alterations you see fit. All right guys, and that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope both of these meals can inspire you to um, try them out. Uh, they're both really good. I'll probably be doing them several times throughout 2020. So if you do try them, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how you liked them. Don't forget to leave me your new year's resolutions down below as well. If you're new here and haven't yet subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I post on Wednesdays and Sundays. Thanks again for watching Morg's Menu and I hope you have a great day and a great 2020. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.